Reed won't love this day when he looks back on it either. And here is Coach Reed after the loss. Coach, we are ready whenever you are. Okay. Um, listen, uh, congratulations goes out to Cincinnati. Um, they they did, a, did a nice job and um, did a better job than what we did in that second half for sure. I uh, appreciate our fans for sticking with us throughout the season and uh, and then being being great today. So, um, listen, I it's my responsibility to make sure that we, we do better offensively and as a team. And um, I, I obviously didn't get that done that second half. So, um, we got I've got to do a better better job there. We'll go back and look at things and make the adjustments that that we need to. Uh, going into the offseason. Unfortunately, this is so final, and uh, uh, that's that's where we sit now. And it's um, our players were disappointed. Uh, obviously, they put a lot of time and effort into this, putting themselves in this position uh, for a championship game. I'm proud of them for that, and the way they battled through some of the problems that we had early in the season. So we, um, um, again, uh, very appreciative of the guys with that time, yours. Go first to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Andy. Can you take us through your thinking on that play, the last play of the first half? And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, so I was, uh, you know, I was hoping we could get get the ball in the end zone. I probably gave him the wrong play, first of all. So uh, to start with, I could have given him something better than that, um, where the play was open in the end zone. And, um, and then we wouldn't have to go through that. But it's... Uh, I'll take responsibility for that one out. Right. And um, it, it looked like after Joe Burrow's run in overtime there, you I know you can't challenge, but you were, were you asking the officials to review that play for a fumble? Is that what you were doing there? Yeah, not, not Joe Burrow. The, you're talking about the, yeah, next, yeah, next. So, um, yeah, I was, I was wondering what, what they were going to say about that, yes. Um, you can't challenge right there, but it's, uh, I, I had a chance to, um, to talk to him and they said he gave himself up. So. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Coach, in that first half, obviously you, you, the offense is humming. Uh, in the second half, sputtering. What exactly happened there in that second half? Did the Bengals present a different look defensively? Yeah, not, listen, Herbie, not really. I mean, they played a little bit uh, more man on second down, but other than that, uh, no, not really. So we, we just, uh, you know, if I, again, I can put the players in better positions to make plays. I, I didn't get that part done. Next is Sam McDowell. Good, Sam. Hey, Andy. Um, I wonder if you could share what, what you shared with the team at all after the game. Yeah, Sam. So, uh, listen, I know it's disappointing and it's final. That's uh, the unfortunate part of it. So, uh, when things are in a calmer state, we'll get together um, tomorrow for a team meeting. Uh, but I, I do appreciate uh, the work in which they each guy put in. So, and, and respect them for that, especially where we where we were early in the season. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Coach, it seemed like Patrick might have been um, uh, pressing a little bit there in the, in the second half, especially heading into overtime. Any rhyme or reason in, in your mind as to maybe why that turned up a little bit again? Yeah, listen, I mean, uh, Patrick's a great player, so he was trying to make a play. And uh, like I said, I, I've got to do a better job of giving him things that he can make plays with, so I can do a lot better in that area. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Andy, the end of the second half, you guys were within the five-yard line. Can you just uh, share with me what the thought process was, whether to uh, try to end the game with the ball with a the, with the touchdown or just what the thought process was of, of maybe passing the ball uh, versus running the ball there? Um, yeah, well, I was trying to, we were trying to score, you know, a touchdown. So any way we could score a touchdown, <laughs> we were trying to score a touchdown. I mean, hindsight would tell you, well, the passes weren't working, so maybe you should have run it. But, you know, we were just trying to get the ball in the end zone so we could give them as little time as possible and score, you know, score a touchdown. Got three more going right down the line. Starting with Todd Lebo. Good time. Hey, coach. At the end of the first half, you mentioned the 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 play call there. But how close was it to you guys just kicking the field goal there? It looked like Pat was lobbying for it. Were you fifty fifty? Yeah, we had enough time to. 
we had enough time for another play, but I've got to get one that, that's open in the end zone. So, yeah. Let's go next to Todd Palmer. Go ahead, Todd. Um, I, I was just curious about, about the pass rush in Joe Burrow. You, you know, the Titans got nine sacks. Chris Jones had him had Burrow dead to rights, but were you, did you feel like you guys had more of an opportunity um, to get after him this game? And, and what role do you think that played in the final outcome? Yeah, so we, we did have opportunities. Um, he got out of those. And, um, you know, again, that, that happens. Um, but uh, they were holding extra people in, too, as you saw, um, to, for protection purposes. We'll go last to Matt Derrick. But Matt. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, there's been some statistics that kind of correlate that when Patrick is moving around a lot, that sometimes that's when he gets away from his best games. Uh, is there anything in the moment in the second half that, you know, where you, you can talk to Patrick or anything that you see where he gets mobile like that and, and to try and, and change things up a little bit? Yeah, listen, Matt, I, I, like I said, I could have given him other things uh, to work with and better things. So um, I didn't. He was trying to move around like he does and make plays. He did, you know, that you never have to worry about that part. So, um, but I could have given him better, better plays to work with. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining okay. us. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, we got some. All right, so Cincinnati gets it done. Kansas City had a 21 3 lead in the first half and then they didn't they didn't score i mean it was three points in the second half in overtime cincinnati just kept coming and coming and coming they tied it they took the lead kansas city came back to tie it and then in overtime patrick mahomes intercepted cincinnati comes down kicks a field goal and they are going to the super bowl do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.